Rowena and welcome to Tea Talk Thursday. I am the designer of the Sojourner Traveler's Notebooks and other leather goodies. And this is a place where we talk about different things um, such as journals and planners, art. Sometimes I do tutorials, embellishments um, on camera, movies. I mean, you name it, we talk about it. Um, different things, different ideas, and fountain pens. There's all sorts of things that we talk about here. But anyway, welcome. If this is your first time, again, my name is Rowena, and um, welcome to my Periscope and YouTube if you happen to see this on a replay later on today. So anyway, I am going to show you today my um, project that I started uh, the 1st of January, which is a photo a day. Many of us have photos um, that we take from our phones. I know I do on a daily basis. I will have an upwards of one to maybe 15 photos per day. And sometimes it's um, uh, posed, it's for a product, uh, a selfie, if I'm going somewhere with um, a friend or my my husband or my girls, we'll take a photo where we're at, you know, just basically documenting your life as it happens, right? We don't just use um, paper and pens and pencils for that. We can also use our phones. And in fact, that's how I got started with documenting life as it happens. And that is my tagline. It has been my tagline since I was a a wedding photographer, a professional wedding photographer. So I just carried that on to documenting also with journals and, and planners and such. So anyway, having said that, we do take a lot of pictures. And I thought to myself, you know, there's a lot of pictures that I have that are random pictures that are sometimes interesting, sometimes silly, goofy. But nevertheless, they don't go anywhere. They some pictures go into my journal, of course, but there are some pictures that I thought, you know, I might as well do this thing. I have an extra notebook. I purchased a um, a, a Hobonichi, a small Hobonichi, uh, you know, one of those that is, uh, you get two per year. I, I can't remember, what are they called? They're not the Techos. They're, I know the bigger ones are called Cousins. So, oh, the Avec. Avec, or would, however they say that. So anyway, and so I had an extra one. I thought, hey, why not? I might as well just make use of it. So um, how many of you guys take pictures, like lots of pictures? Avec, yes, thank you, on a daily basis. Anybody? I mean, am I the only one that takes uh, like up to 15, 20 photos a day? Lori? Yes. Okay. Yep. Danielle says she she has them too. So a lot of times I'll be, um, for instance, at a parking lot at Disneyland. And what happens is it's such a huge parking lot. So what I like to do is wherever I'm at in the parking lot, not that many, maybe 10. Okay, cool. Um, Lisa Somerville, right? Liz Somerville, hi. Um, so anyway, yeah, so uh, um, a Disneyland parking lot and it gets confusing because it, there's so many levels. And so what I do is I take my phone and I just take a picture of where um, I'm parked at or information. Sometimes you come up with information that you want to jot down, whether you're in the library, maybe you're looking through a book or at a coffee shop. Um, or whatever, whatever information you can, I, I, I just do a, um, a quick photo of it. Um, sometimes I take it, you know, it's really interesting. There's a lot of interesting things in different coffee shop bathrooms. So a lot of times I will take my phone in there because there's always something interesting in there or where I want to place my, maybe my sojourner next to, to a cool, uh, table or whatever and I'll just shoot it and so bathrooms are one of them and I will show you in my book I actually have a picture I was sitting there watch, washing my hand in the bathroom and I noticed this um, I, I noticed a lot of like um, patterns or um, different things that 
are on the wall that are not really meant to be there, like faces or things like that. I see those type of things, and so I will take a picture of it because I think it's interesting. Um, a cool design that you see that maybe uh, you can, like a cool lamp, for instance, those kinds of things can actually inspire you when you're doing other things in your journal, drawing and such. And so, you know, it comes in really handy, all those photos. And again, things that are amusing and basically just any random thing. So that is what I do. And so if you guys have any um, other things you like taking pictures of, um, feel free to share on here. So anyway, I'll go ahead and start showing you guys what I started in January. And um, I do this uh, on a daily basis as far as the photos are concerned. However, I don't necessarily print these on a daily basis. Sometimes I will go three days, maybe a week. And what's nice about the phone, it'll show you the date. And so it's not like you have to remember what day it was it'll show you the date and then the pictures underneath it right so it makes it easy and a lot of times i will take um, maybe at the end of the week and i will print all of them for the week and then i'll just start pasting them down so um, all that to say we're going to go ahead and get started i love architectural details columns molding etc danielle yes me too uh it's just really very um inspirational isn't it and you end up you know taking all that in and using it um, for different things. Like I said, for the, um, perhaps for your journal. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do the flip through. So right here I am using an A6 size and it is in the Sojourner Rose Gold. Now, I don't always carry this around in my work case. Um, I do sometimes, but pretty much, um, you know, it'll stay in the trunk of my car or what have you. So I don't do anything at the beginning. I, never, I didn't um, utilize it. I may utilize it for something else later, but okay, so it starts out on the first. Here we go. I actually want to embellish this a little bit um, with maybe some drawings of fireworks representing the new year however i just haven't had time and so i know that i can go back and what's really nice about this it's really interesting but when i put the the pictures down on here it doesn't have to have a caption or anything it actually i remember what happened that day and not only do i remember that particular instance i remember what happened right before that we took that picture and a lot of times what happened after so it's kind of neat um that I don't have to put the caption right away. I can go back later when I have some more time, some free time, and then I'll put the caption on there. So, um, yeah, the important thing for me is that I print it and I get it on the uh, page, but then I go back and um, write out, you know, the caption. So that's on the 1st of January. I'll go through this real quick. Um, this is my studio. The broadcasting studio that I was putting together, it's still not fully finished, but anyway, I had taken a picture of it, and so I thought I would put it for that day. Now, I only choose one picture per day, and what I try to do is I try to pick a picture that I will not put into my journal. For example, this day, I may have spent some time with my husband or at a coffee shop, and maybe I would put that photo on Instagram. I don't put those kinds of photos here in general. The reason is, is I want to put something in here that's just off the wall or different. I'm not necessarily looking for something to put in here specifically. That's not what I do. However, that is what I look for once I look through my albums on the phone. So this is something that I did find very interesting. It was in the trash at work um, the other side of the building and they look like puzzle pieces and so I asked what they were and come to find out they're off of circuit boards and so I just thought it was a neat pattern and I saw it in the trash so I took a picture of it and that's what I put in here and in here we went on um, a hike a friend of mine and I went on a hike over at Oak Glen and so I took a picture of that and that's what I put on here this is an American Girl doll that came in for one of my friends um, daughters and we gave that to her 
my daughters and I gave that to her for her birthday. So I took a picture of it because I want, oh, and here's the thing. I took a picture of it because both my daughters are not in town. And so I sent it to them to show them what it looked like because we were going to the birthday party the, a couple of days, like the following week. And so I wanted to show them what it looked like. And so that's why I have this picture. This is a picture that I took. I was just sitting there in the car and I just happened to see this scene and I just shot it real quick. This is at that birthday party um, for the little girl that we gave the American Girl doll to. And if you look really closely, this is a cake and it looks kind of like a flower. And inside of it um, flew in a bee. So I thought that was cool. Here I have my own personal coach through my um, iWatch and I, I thought that was amusing and so I took a picture of it. I think I put this on my Instagram stories so I put it on there. Here is a mess that one of my daughters made by the kitchen and so I just took a picture of that. Oh, you're still here. Great. Thank you. Um, that's me, a selfie. I don't really like taking selfies, <laughs> but I thought I'd put one in here, um, you know, because years from now, maybe um, someone will look through it and they'll see who the artist is. And then here is when I um, is the uh, when I introduced the rose gold. Here's just a photo of my table, one of my tables at the studio. Took a picture of that. Here is at a um, coffee shop. Let's see, what does it say? Oh, it says day five with Apple support. This was a time I was having a lot of issues with um, my Apple. Um, it's not really the product itself, it's the way I had everything saved and things like that. And there were some issues and things were not connecting properly and so it took a long time for us to clean it up and fix it, but they were great. And so um, anyway, so I was at a coffee shop because I needed a break and I, at that time I was waiting for them to call me back. Here is a shot of, we were in LA um, again, this is not the kind of picture that I normally put in here, but perhaps I didn't really have any other pictures except for this. And so that's what ended up here. Because usually I either put this on Instagram or in my journal. But this is the um, first time we went to this coffee shop in L.A. and so I documented it. This is the one I was telling you guys. So do you see, what do you see here? This is from the bathroom of a coffee shop right next to the sink. Can you guys see it? Anyone? No? You guys are still there, right? Oh good, there's a heart, there's a couple of hearts. <laughs> okay, I'll go ahead and tell you what it is. So it's a piece of wood, right? And then I think this is tile. But anyway, you can see a face. See, here's the eye. Here's the lips. And then this is an ear. Funny story, about a week or two later, I went back there and I looked at this wall again. And no kidding, I saw something even bigger that incorporated this whole thing and also looked like a face. So when I go back, I didn't have my phone on me. So when I go back, I am going to take another picture, but um, not so close up. And then I will show you guys. It's interesting. And in here, I had found a um, some of my business cards from when I was a uh, professional wedding photographer. And so I just had some of my journals out. So I went ahead and just put it on the floor and um, my tile and took a picture. And then I put this on Instagram, but on here I put, as far as the um, explanation, I wrote that um, this is a time when I was a, a photographer 
and my daughter Kayla, KK for short, told me that um, when she gets married, she does not want me taking pictures for her because she wants me to be part of the wedding. <laughs> Isn't that nice? But anyway, this is her prom picture, um, one of them, and so I used it as um, one of my business cards. And then here, um, Minnie Mouse, um, I took a picture of Minnie Mouse on, um, oh, because she, uh, she talks on the iWatch. If you guys have an iWatch, you know only Minnie and Mickey will talk. If you press on her, she will say something. So that was cool. So I took a picture of it. And then here is a picture uh, that was taken because we were testing lighting in the studio. And that's my husband in the background. He always helps me. Um, very kind to help me with um, my production as far as when I have issues and things. He's the one who I um, ask and helps me figure things out. So um, we make a great team. And then here is a coffee shop. And I just wrote one word inviting because someone had said this was something I posted on Instagram and someone said that it looked so inviting. So I just put that one word. You know, as time went on, I kind of thought, you know, it'd be kind of nice if I just did one word for each photo, right? Maybe next year. <laughs> so, and in here is um, a time when I went to a coffee shop and had um, listened to Vicki B um, on one of her videos. And then I was also, um, at the same time, just relaxing and cutting out the collages from um, Little Raven Ink, Courtney. Here is my daughter and I in a parking lot, and it was the start of our birthday celebration, which lasted um, over a week. <laughs> but anyway, this was like a Sunday before our birthday. And then here, again, a coffee shop shot. This is the day of um, the National Day of Handwriting. This was on Instagram. I stuck it on here. This here, I was doing some research on some screws. And so I took, actually took a picture. See, this is one of those instances where I um, took a picture of it because I was going to send it to my husband so he could tell me if he knows of a place where I can get these type of screws. So it really comes in handy. And so I thought, oh, that'll be an interesting shot for this book. And then this is a special occasion, of course, because I was with my daughters for our birthday celebration, and so I went ahead and put that in here. Although normally I would put this in my, journal, my regular journal. This is us um, after we went to coffee first before we did anything else that day. This is us the day after when we went um, to dinner over in L.A. at Perch. If you guys ever been to the Perch Restaurant in L.A., it's beautiful up there. It's a rooftop, and um, it's just really gorgeous. The next day, we went to American Girl um, for a lunch. That was fun. Here, the following day, Sunday, I was with my friend Meredith at her son's um, wedding. And so I asked her to just take a quick picture with me, and so that's what it is. Here, the following day, um, some friends of ours took us to dinner over, um, we had seafood. And that was the mess that was left of it. Again, this is not something I would necessarily put in my journal, and so I stuck it here. And then here is a, um, I bought a book. And it's one of those illustration books. And I wanted to take it with me because I wanted to do some drawings. Um, it was a weekend, I believe. And I took a picture of this page because I wanted to draw it. I didn't want to take the book because it's kind of thick. And so I put it on here. So, um, I mean, I put it on my phone. I took a picture of it and had it on my phone so that I could use it as a reference. And then here is a Twitter, um, I don't know what you call those, but a, a Twitter, um, a Twitter, a tweet. <laughs> and then it goes into February. This actually, I haven't captioned it. I haven't put anything on here. I'll just go through this real quick. Ones that I have for February. Um, this was matcha that 
um, for a couple of days I've been going and they were not putting any kind of um, embellish or I don't know decoration on top of it and so the day that they did I was like woo yay we're back and so anyways so I took a picture of it I know silly right and here um, this was just from last week right yeah and the caption this is one of those times when I'm checking my lighting right before I'm gonna come go on Periscope and so I wrote um, hate to brag but look at that size of um, look at the size of my halo <laughs> get it yeah I was trying to be funny okay <laughs> And then, so anyway, uh, my other daughter, Kayla, the younger one, um, she wanted to go to the museum that day, which, of course, I was very happy to oblige. And so we went over to the Norton Simon Museum. If you guys have ever been to L.A. at Norton Simon Museum, you know they have some really cool pieces of art um, by Degas, Rembrandt. Um, those are some of the things that they have um, part of their regular collection. And so you might want to check that out. But anyway, I thought this was a very interesting photo because she's over here looking at me, right? Um, right before this, she was looking at this picture. And I got a picture of her back. Well, right when she's looking at me, you may not be able to see the expression on her face, but she just kind of has a goofy look on her face. But what I found interesting was that this couple is looking at this painting, and then these two are looking at different sides. I mean, I couldn't have posed that any better. I thought it was just so cool. So I love this photo. And so that's what I put on here. And then on um, Sunday, we, my husband and I, um, after church, went walking around downtown. And uh, we saw a squirrel. I took a picture of the squirrel. And then on Monday, he made me a, um, a, shrimp, a shrimp dish. And it was really yummy. Took a picture of it. Here is just a random photo. Someone asked me to make them a, um, you know, one of those mini um, sojourners that holds the extra small molluskina. And so I made it and I took a picture of it. And um, anyway, that's what I have for that day. And then this is from yesterday and this is Gigi, um, one of the girls that is part of the team here at Sojourner. And that day she was going to be waiting for her, hi, hi, Terry. She was going to be waiting for her boyfriend um, who was going to be out, I don't know, about two, two and a half hours after work. And so we decided to hang out and just paint at a coffee shop. I'm probably going to post this today, later tonight. Um, but anyway, it was just um, really fun. Took a picture of her getting into her journal and doing things. And when I took the picture, um, when I put it um, to put it in your my printer, um, actually I had to lighten the picture. That's what it was. I had to lighten the picture, and I did it through Instagram. And so because of that, um, I screenshot it. It had these pictures that were down here, and I thought, ah, oh, that's a cool little element, design element. So I just kept it. So that's what that is. Pictures from the from my role that shows while you're fixing that one picture that you have there. So there you have it. So what do you guys think? Anybody does do it, something like this? Any of you do that? Um, you know, it's not too late to start. You can start at any time of the year. You can use any kind of notebook. It doesn't have to be a Hobonichi. Um, I just chose a Hobonichi because number one, I already had it. And actually, you Patricia says she wants to do that now. I like the dated because then I don't have to date it. That's very convenient for me. So I like it that way. And I just have been really enjoying it. And I can't, I'm looking forward to when it gets really thick. See, right now it's starting to get there. I love this. Great idea from Lori. Um, from Liz, I would love to do this. Great. Well, if you guys do this, let me know and show me. I would love to see it. For me, I just did everything, um, you know, at the same pl in the same place, the same area, right in the middle. And I just wanted to do that. I mean, if you don't want it to be too thick, I suppose if you put it all over in different areas on different days, then maybe it won't be as thick. 
but I kind of like it thick. And since it's only half of a year, um, it won't be too thick where it's going to break the spine, hopefully. So I don't do any kind of real embellishments on it. I mean, you can if you want to. I think that's another way of doing this. I need ideas for my Hobonichi Weeks. <laughs> do you have a Hobonichi Weeks that you're not using for anything? Lori, you could do this on there. Actually, I do have a Hobonichi Weeks too um, that I'm using for something else. Uh, that'll be another, another um, periscope. I'm actually using quite a, a few Hobonichis this year. And I, I will tell you one of the reasons why I have the one for the weeks is because I had to purchase one um, because they had the mega weeks and I wanted to purchase one. Do the photos stick together at all? No, they do not. Just got a photo printer so I can try this. Oh, great, Terry. What kind of photo printer? I do, sadly. Oh, Lori, you're going to have to um, see that next Periscope. I also need idea for Hobonichi Weeks. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Me, too. Um, oh, share. I need ideas. Okay. Um, yeah. How about if I try to do it tomorrow? My voice is kind of going out. But um, anyway, I will show you guys what I'm doing with my weeks. So, oh, my story. So what happened is because they had started the mega weeks, and I know that Hobonichi had officially said that they fit in the notebooks that they had, um, the thinner ones, the books that are thinner, the weeks that are thinner, they said that it'll fit in those, but I wanted to make sure because there's nothing worse than designing something and because um, I have the, the thinner weeks and in sending it out and in finding out that it doesn't fit. And so, or it doesn't uh, fit well enough or, or what have you. And I, I, I do not like to do that. And so I went ahead and purchased the mega weeks so that I can have it on hand so I can make sure of the measurements. And a lot of times they will also write measurements that are not exact. And um, sometimes, you know, it's just a little bit off. But as a designer, I, I, I want to make sure I know exactly uh, what the size is because I, like I said, I don't want to design something and send something out and it doesn't fit. So that's what happened. I ended up ordering a Mega Weeks and um, I already had the thinner one from like 2016, the ones with less um, paper in the back. And so the mega one I brought in, and so I thought, you know what, I might as well use it. So I did. I started using that, too, as well. So I have a bunch of, um, this year is a Hobonichi year. And so I'm going to go through all the different ones that I'm using this year, um, one by one. But um, tomorrow I will do that. I'll do the week's one. Um, so anyway, if you guys have any other any questions or anything, I think you can do all kinds of stuff with this. You know, you could you could go with not even writing anything in it and just putting a picture a day. Now, I just think that you know it's a, another way to document. And um, so, you guys have any questions? If not, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go so you can continue with your Thursday and I will be heading out towards LA to pick up my daughter. So if you guys don't have any questions, I will see you tomorrow maybe. All right. Well, thank you so much, you guys. Thank you for hanging out as usual. Um, I appreciate you guys being here and your support. All right. Well, I'll let you guys know. Thank you very much for hanging out. Really appreciate you guys. And as usual, keep on documenting life as it happens. Thanks and bye-bye.